Today I'd like to introduce you to my shop in my kitchen. I'm going to show you how to use a bandsaw to cut crusty bread. This is my bandsaw, it's a 10 inch bandsaw, Rikon. I bought it because it has a deep throat, I'll show you that in a minute. This is the specifications, I bought it on Amazon for $300 roughly. It has a 5 inch or 4 and 5 8 inch maximum cutting depth which is important. Most small saws do not have that large a depth of cutting bread and so it depends on the height of your bread loaf. Uh, so this is important to me. This is one of the few saws I could find that was small. I'm going to apply olive oil which was a key learning experience to coat the blade. This is a standard blade that came with it and I'm going to coat the blade with olive oil that lubricates the blade, coats it so the bread dough does not stick to the blade. This is uh, something I learned that when you cook the bread and then you cut it, even a couple days later, the doughy texture of the inside of the loaf will stick to the blade and cause it uh, to derail from the turning pulleys. So I learned to put olive oil. As you can see here, I sprayed some olive oil on some paper towels and then just rotate the blade by hand. You never want to use the power uh, of the motor to turn the blade. This is very dangerous, obviously. So I learned that you have to coat both sides of the blade, just not the one side. Otherwise, it creates an imbalance on the pulley and will come off. So cutting the loaves, I've learned that, you know, by hand tools, like blades on a uh, normal uh, bread cutting blade uh, that you use in the kitchen, a knife, a bread knife, that it's very hard to cut these crusty breads, especially controlling the thickness. So what I learned is that uh, using this saw makes it very easy and you can adjust the thickness. I like bread and I tend to eat too much so I tend to cut my loaves with a thin cut so I can have the bread and not eat so much bread, but each, each slice satisfies me. I can go down to about an eighth of an inch thick, so if you want to dry some bread and turn it into crackers, uh, it's an awesome way to do that. You can see where the throat height is set for about four inches. I can go another five eighths of an inch higher if the loaf was uh, deeper, but in this case I have it set for about four inches and you can see uh, the texture, the open uh, crumb on this bread. Uh, so I'm now adjusting it to a little bit thicker. It's about 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm just gonna finish cutting the loaf up. Uh, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. There's a little bit of crumb that gets spread around near the saw. I'll come back later after I finish cutting the two loaves and use my vacuum cleaner to clean up. It's not too much work. I do like equipment and anything I can do to power up my kitchen with power tools, I like to do that from the shop. Now I have my shop in my kitchen. I sped this video up a little bit so you can kind of see uh, the process. As I get close to the end, I'm going to get a, a fork, a kitchen fork, just to push the blade through, the bread through the, the blade so I don't chop off my fingers. I wouldn't want that. So you can see you can go right up and get it to the last little slice. That's very difficult obviously when you're cutting with a, a hand a bread knife. So very nice uh, end product. I enjoy it and again you can cut it to any thickness that you like. I did look at uh, commercial bread cutters but they're expensive in the thousands of dollars like you'd find at Panera Bread and I found this to be a compromise uh, where I could have some equipment to actually uh, have the same performance as a professional bread slicer with precision and adjustment but for a fraction of the cost. Again about $300. It feels very satisfying to cut up a loaf after you've done all the work with the dough preparation, baking, and, and then just smelling the bread and then of course cutting it and then eating it. So this, this is something I enjoy tr tremendously. Uh, it feels very satisfying to create uh, bread, sliced bread like this and then eat it all from some flour and some grain and a little bit of yeast, salt, water. It's amazing. 
I want to thank everybody for all the sharing they've done on YouTube. I've learned so much. I just wanted to share this video as a way to uh, let everybody know something that I've learned and hopefully this is helpful to you. And there we go. A whole loaf quickly done and ready to be packaged in my Ziploc bags and I'll put them in the freezer. They'll last all week and uh, there you go. So thanks for joining me today. Appreciate uh, again all the learning I've had from others and enjoy. Hopefully you can learn from this.